All right, welcome back, everybody. It's Drew, we're playing some more Neva. Um, it's been a little while. I am spinning a lot of plates. Uh, not even just playing all these games, but also uh, doing some doing the work behind the scenes with Rob. We just did our podcast with uh, we interviewed uh, Count Dracula for our Halloween episode. Um, we just secured our guest for Christmas, a Christmas episode. Look forward to that. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. I, I've been running around like a, a chicken with my head cut off. And you know what I need right now is some soothing, cool tones that only Neva could provide. All right, what's going on? Uh, like I said, it's been a few days. I think, uh, I think I might have missed or lost, uh, what some of the plot threads were in this game. I just remember there was like a, a goo monster that showed up and killed Neva's mom or dad, right? Okay, girl. It's okay. It's all right. And it's kind of infected the landscape, right? Like these little guys have showed up. Just in case you haven't seen the other episodes. All right, let's add that. But I've been absolutely wrecking these fools as recompense for what they did to Neva's mom. All right. Oh, 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 are they possessing the? Oh, they're possessing this. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, ah. All right, what do I do? Whoa, whoa. What do I do? Neva, can you help me out? What is that? Oh, I gotta kill him. It pops out of the mouth. You all right? You okay, girl? It's gonna be all right, boy. Let's go. Oh, I think we might have to play Grease after this, right? I have it. Um, it's in my library, and I think I played like the first level. Just never got around to finishing it. Shit. Ah. Okay. He's gonna pop out of the mouth, right? Atta boy. Good girl. Good girl. Are they defiling the flora and the fauna? Oh, that's right. When there's a little, excuse me. When there's a little white, uh, what are those? Chrysanthemums? I can climb the walls and stuff. There, around. Those guys are just kind of minding their own business. I think I might have just murdered them for no good reason. I've got a, a taste for blood now. I've got a bloodlust. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I think the trickiest thing outside of the bosses is the platforming. All right. If you're into platformers, I think this game's kind of for you. I am enjoying this. Like in the in between instances where you're just kind of traversing the landscape, it does help that it's it's easy on the eyes, you know. All right. Oh, where are we going? Are we going to heaven? Is that what this whole game is? Where? We're, we're walking into the light. Like we died too. When, uh, when Neva's mom died, maybe she survived and we're the ones that are dead. Right? 
That would, how'd that be for like a Shyamalan plot twist? Ah, one of these birds. God damn it. Oh, I can't hurt him. What the fuck? What? Eva, I need your help. Eva. What the fuck? What even just killed me? All right. What do I do? All right. This dork that's mad at me. Oh. Oh, okay, I see. Alright, ah. Uh. Oh shit, okay. Neva. Alright. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Anybody else? Okay. Let's go, girl. Who else won test me? Who else? I'm starting to think we might have expired. We may have ceased to be. I don't know. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. All right, all right. You guys didn't learn your lesson, huh? Ah! Ah! Got it. Get him. Nope. Where they at? Now! Oh, shit! Okay. Okay. What the fuck? Ugh. Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Up here? Ugh. I don't think I can jump over him either. Uh. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Alright, what do we do? Uh-uh. Ah. Alright, alright. Uno más, uno más. Uh -uh. You know, I'm fucked up now. What are we gonna do with all this meat? All right? It's a waste of a perfectly good pig. Just gonna leave it? Wasteful. Wasteful. I can't, I can't abide this. I'm supposed to get to all those guys. Shit. What the fuck? What's going on? Neva. Uh oh. What do I do? Press R. Okay. Good girl. Alright. Press R and aim L for Neva to attack. Okay. Ah! Never. So we got a Neva attack. Ah! Get her. I like this. So we're gonna keep getting attacks, right? Ah! <laughs> uh, I love this. Good girl. Good girl. That's right. All right. I think this is we're in the third level, right? Or are we in the second half of the second level? Okay, okay. Let's kill all these guys. Okay, okay, okay. Oop. Fuck. All right, did we get him? Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Let's go.
I got it. Uh, okay. All right, so I'm going to propose a topic that is going to be in uh, stark contrast to everything that's going on on screen right now because it's kind of serene and mellow and calming and soothing, right? Uh, me and Rob and Tian and our friend Alexa just went to go see uh, Smile 2. And uh, I want to give my my honest thoughts on it um i really liked it seems like a lot of people are enjoying it um i really love the first movie uh um, i don't know if i well, am i supposed to kill these guys oh never oh, i'm running my mouth Fuck, that's I'm gonna shut up drew you got a job to do right now kill these guys otherwise they're gonna work up the cliff you're supposed to be having never killed this. Uh. Alright. Ah. Ah. Boss fight time. Get him. Get him, never. Alright. Have to keep sicking never on him. Come on, go. Shit. Ah, okay. Hi. Right. Okay, girl. Um. Yeah, I enjoyed the first movie. Um, I do really enjoy the horror genre. Uh, I think I, I need to experience a little bit more. Like, I thought it was fine. It was fun. It was good. You know? Uh, I feel like a lot of other people are, like, more high on it than I am. Um, I really did like the first one. Uh, I think I need to see it again. You know? Honestly. Shit. Ah, God damn it. Ah. Dude, you gotta pay attention. Don't have time to fucking chit chat. Alright. Alright. Ah, okay. Alright. Uh. Uh. Come on. Come on. All right. All right. I think that's it. Okay. It's good. The one thing that I've heard from a lot of other reviewers that I totally agree with is Naomi Scott is great in the movie. She is. Um, it is. I think, like, she sells it, like, because... The whole thing that's interesting about either of these movies is watching this person unravel at the seams, you know? It's like a psychological attack. And she sells it, you know? Right, let me see. Uh, what's going on? Oh. Uh-oh. Am I in trouble? Or some uh oh Nima Ah Ah Okay okay What the fuck Ugh Alright alright Okay, okay. What do these have to fucking deal with? Alright. One second, one second. Alright, alright. 
Ah, no, no, I'm gonna deal with two of them. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Uh oh. God damn it. And the other one wakes up. Okay. All right. All right. Damn it. Okay. Okay. Uh. Uh. Ah, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Shit. This is justice. Good boy, good boy. Right, so I think this was, that was the second part of the second level. So this is the beginning of the third level. Never's gone. Uh, so what I was saying is uh, about the movie. Real quick, I enjoyed it overall. Um, I think it was really smart to wait, hold on. have the settings and the situations that they they portrayed in both movies. Okay, am I supposed to jump off here? Let me see. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Because in the first one, the first movie, she's uh, like a clinical therapist, I believe would be the, the term, technically. So a lot of people who are around her and watching her go through this uh, are people who are strictly scientifically minded. Like they're going to look for a scientific explanation to just write her off as crazy, right? Uh, couple that with the fact that her mom had a history of mental illness. Like that's the, you know, Occam's razor. The simplest explanation is often the correct one. But in this instance, it was wrong, you know? So she desperately needs someone to believe her and nobody will, you know? Cause they don't, it's not like somebody who is into like hoodoo or voodoo or any type of spiritual, you know? Uh, I don't know what the term is. Let me see. I'm also trying to figure out what's going on here. Does jump off of this? Do I die? I think I'm dead, guys. I think we're dead. Uh, but I was saying with uh, the second movie, uh, having her be a pop star, you have a lot of people who are around her, who, including her mom, who I'm sure do care about her, but they're just as concerned about uh keeping the tour going you know and all the people that rely on her talent and success and she already had a history of substance abuse you know and this being her last chance and so on and so forth so let me see hold on so i thought the settings and situations were really clever and uh where they they positioned the stories were were brilliant and naomi scott's performance was brilliant oh a lot of jump scares 
Uh, some people are into that. Some people aren't. Just letting you know. They got me like more than a few times. You know? And the monster's creepy regardless. Uh, let me see. Oh, uh, our friend that was with us. I think it definitely got her. Like, shit. <laughs> she was freaked out when we left the theater. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was a good movie overall. Uh, I think I, I still got a little bit of what you might call a sugar rush going. Where, you know, just a high of hanging out with my friends and uh, going to the movie theater uh, might be affecting my overall opinion. That's why I'm not taking like a hard stance like on maybe like scoring it or something like that. But maybe a little bit further down the line. You know, once you kind of have time to like sit and actually take in a movie and uh, you don't have the other factors influencing your decision. You can get like more of an honest opinion. Sometimes that's the, you have to reflect on what you've watched. Right, let me see. Because I remember going to see Thor 11 Thunder with Rob. And uh, we didn't like it. You know. But we still were having fun because we were hanging out. You know. And oh shit. Oh okay. Um. But we, we we didn't like the movie, but like I said, we were having fun because we were hanging out. So that that's what kind of colored our our perception of how good the movie was early on, you know? Uh, you know, we still had a little bit of fun. There's there was flaws and problems with it, but oh, let me see. But overall we we still had a little bit of fun. But then when I watched it at home like several months later, I was like, this was not great, you know? All right. Okay. All right. All right. I think we're in into level three a little bit. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. all right. And getting a little, little nightmare realm. All right. Uh, uh, uh. There's some weird Freddy Krueger shit going on. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, down here. Okay. All right. All right. It's about time for us to wrap up this episode. Uh, I'm going to pick this up next time. I think we're almost done with this game. I'm pretty sure we are in no longer of the living guys. I think we may have passed away. All right. Well. Uh, ah. But as always, I appreciate you hanging out with me. Uh, leave me a like. Let me know if you enjoyed Smile and Smile 2. Oh, uh, whoa, whoa. Uh, if you enjoy horror movies at all in general, what your favorite horror movie is. Shit, shit, shit. And we'll pick this up next time. Well, bye guys.